75% of people use their phone as an alarm clock. 90% of people feel uncomfortable leaving their phone at home. Are you one of those people? Um, I think for the sole purpose of... So yes. Yes. <laughs> why? Um, I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's a fear or just a concern that I want, if my wife calls me and she needs me home, so it's not a it's not a fear. It's just they feel uncomfortable. There's a sensation of like, ah, oh, man, I don't got my phone with me. Yeah, right. So for you, it's the wife. It could be the kids. It could be emergencies. But like, and that's more for emergencies. For Twenty me. years ago, not many people had pagers. Like, if you were out of the house, you were out of the house. You're dead to the world. You can't be found. Man, Twenty years ago, I don't think the world is as messed up as. I think it's. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about now is one of the best times to live and one of the worst times to live, but. The present time is always like that, though. Fifty percent of people look at their phone while driving. Seventy-five percent of the people admit they're addicted to their phone. To just kind of go back, I'm uncomfortable leaving my cell phone at home because I like being connected. I do have connected to what? Uh it it, it's connected to everything. Which is what your phone like? Because like, if I went to the dentist's office. I used to want to look for a magazine, a book, or a toy as a child. Not now I don't need to. No. This is everything. This is no. this is friends, family, video games, like YouTube. Information, whatever. It is, is magazines. They have magazine apps on the phone. You they don't need books. magazines. They have books. Everything. Yeah. So I will look at my phone while I'm driving. Not a proud statement, but uh, mostly at a red light. I'll pull it out and look quickly. So Me it's too. more so when I'm at a red light. I feel like shit though when I'm like at a red light and I look up and I'm like, oh, I missed the green or someone honks at me and I'm like, oh, damn, like yeah. I shouldn't have looked at my phone. Not a proud statistic, but it's 50% of people, so it's 50% of you guys too. Actually, it doesn't. Shame. <clears throat> well, because right now with the truck that I drive, I don't have Bluetooth, I don't have anything. I can't plug my phone in. So when I'm listening to a podcast, I have a, I have a headphones, a pair of headphones. Which isn't safe either. Uh, no, not at all. It's an in-ear uh, pair of headphones as well. So that's the difference with like if there's right. an ambulance behind you, absolutely. you can't hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yes, the volume is like maxed out because I just want to. I just want to be part of that podcast or conversation that I'm listening to, right? But I only check the phone when it beeps. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like. I said. I don't put it on silent, right? So I would know if someone's calling or someone's texting or emailing, and then it's just like a quick glance. Yeah. The, well, the not so proud moment is I take a quick glance, even though I'm in the highway. So it's yeah. not just the red. But nine times out of 10, if nobody texts me, I don't check it. Because the podcast I listen to, I make sure that it's like more than 30 minutes to cover my drive. Yeah. Right? So 75% of people admit they're addicted to their phone. I'll admit that I'm probably one. Mm -hmm. 64% of people upgraded their phone in the past year. We're talking big money every year. So every two years, people are upgrading their phone. I'm one of those as well. With that being said, we're talking about consumerism and money. So there's big money in the cell phone market. 60% uh, of people check their phones over 160 times per day, looking for messages, time, dates, weather. 50% of the people look at their phone when they're out on a date, whether you're Fresh, weather free, yeah. fresh, fresh married, whatever. Yeah. Um, sixty percent of people text somebody in the same room, and seventy percent of their people use their phone on the toilet. I am one of those, which is almost disgusting to say. So some habits with the phone that I've created for myself. Mm -hmm. Me and Diane have recently eliminated the phones out of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. The phones stay in the kitchen when we go to the bedroom. We have no phone. That's been very beneficial. I'm not going to get into that, but that's been very beneficial. The other one that we do probably 50% of the time though, is if we take the dog to the dog park or going for a nice walk in nature, mm -hmm. we'll leave the phone in the truck. That's the best. But that only happens 50% of the time because sometimes the phone wins in the sense that we have these autoplay games. We're like, yo, while we're walking the dog, this is the perfect time to get ahead in the game. Gotcha. So the cell phone is literally <clears throat> in the pocket playing a video game while we're walking, but you have to look at it every couple minutes yeah. to make sure the game's still running, right? So 50% of the time, we take the phones on the dog walk, it's way better without the phone, but those little triggers are firing, like pulling so hard like tug of war. 
Yeah. It's crazy though. For me, and I can say this truthfully, that the best the best times that I have is when I'm not with my phone. So I swim with the kids or I go for like an intense workout unless I'm recording the workout, which is I'm planning to do. Well actually that will be with the camera though. So that will be with my phone. Yeah. Um I don't know, but for me I'm, I'm I don't feel I don't feel that good when I don't see my phone. Like even when I'm working out sometimes, even if I'm not recording, you see my phone like, right just sitting on the floor with my chalk. Yeah. Um, it's with us, it's always close. It's always close. But then again, that's me. I feel like my wife is always gonna call me or is gonna tell me something that I need to know right away. I don't know if that's just me being a dad with with four kids all under the age of seven. Um, but if, if she needs me, I'm out the door and I'm not gonna miss two minutes or three minutes of whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's some validity to that, but there's also not. I know, because it never happens, yeah, exactly. right? And she also knows, and I know that she knows this, we talked about this before, that if you call me and I don't answer my phone, you call the club right away, because most of them in the club. And when I leave the club, I used to go to Frontier for, for yeah, Frontier. my workouts, right? Like, she can't call me at Frontier, that's why in front, like when I'm working out on Frontier, I'm probably the only ones who have the phone in there for some reason, right? But I just want to make sure that I don't miss a call, especially if it's an important call from, from the wife. So these uncomfortable feelings though, 91% of people feel uncomfortable leaving their phone at home. I'm one of those, but the sensation does not last super long. Once I'm like, oh no, I forgot my phone at home. Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh damn. And it actually like, it's a little bit of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Then it will dissipate. And then I probably have a way better day. Maybe, or I feel like some people, not talking about you, not talking about me, but when we talk that, when we say that it's, it's already a habit for some people, they'd be walking, right? Or chatting with people and then they're just like reaching their pocket and you know, it's yeah. probably there still. And then it will remind them constantly that, yeah, you don't have your phone with you. Yeah. 